Hello everyone, and today we're taking a look at the Skynet DOS virus. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So if we take a look at the virus itself, see that the file size is about 1976, and the actual size of the virus is, I believe, is about 1400 to 1500 bytes. So we'll go ahead and run it, and we should see it infect all EXE files as they are run. So if we look at m386.exe, normal size 120,926. Run it again. Takes a little time. Hit enter again, and then it runs the program. So after it infects, it just sort of pauses and waits for an enter. And if we look at the file size now, see that it is increased by the size of the virus to 122,376. And uh, it should activate randomly. It'll uh, slow the computer down, and it likes to activate when running .exe files. So we'll just go ahead and run a few of these a few times. There we go. We get the Terminator message. You notice that the sound effect is quite different from my previous video of this where I ran it in a virtual machine where it was just a bunch of blips of static. So it lets your computer slow down by playing with the timer interrupt and actually slows your computer down. However, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but when you press enter or any key to continue, the machine hangs on this black screen and you have to reset. So no amount of input lets you continue working. Wait for it. It'll beep at me eventually. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just mashing the keyboard like an idiot, but there's one more part of this virus I should show you. So we'll go ahead and control alt delete to restart. And uh, it's pretty interesting. I haven't seen a virus do this before. It's, it's pretty, pretty neat. So instead of focusing on the screen, you might wonder why I knew the virus was activating when I ran that file. Well, we'll just pan down here. Let me make sure we're looking at the drives. Alright, that looks good. You can see both drives. We'll go ahead and try to get the virus to activate again. You can see the hard drive activating, hard drive LED activating when we run the files. And eventually as we keep running this, there we go, we see both drive lights flash very quickly back and forth alternating. The B drive light stays on for a little longer and eventually turns off. It used to eventually turn, there it goes. Pan back up, the virus is doing this. So, that's the second virus in about a month that flashes, or third virus that flashes, keyboard thing. Neat. And that's really about it for the Skynet virus. Other than printing this message and activating incessantly when you're running exe files, it doesn't do much. But if you're trying to get work done and you keep running into Terminator's message not to be afraid, I'm assuming you'd get kind of pissed off rather than afraid and break your computer because it won't let you do anything. And that is about it for the Skynet DOS virus.